Hello YouTube world! It is your bitch Trish back at it again. Today we are going to be talking about my freshman year recap of it all and uh, moving out. So I'm really really pumped and really, really excited because you know what? Your bitch just finished her finals today! Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, 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 yes! Blitz, 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 blitz. Now I am kind of just like moving everything out and just, you know, getting prepared to say my goodbyes. Oh, I get really emotional about this stuff because I really, really, you know, love all the people here in my college, all the people that I've met, especially my close friends. Oh, you Jesus, blessing me with such great, great, great people. We are in the last couple hours of my freshman year, and it is just consists of me, like, you know, see, the wall of cute pictures is now gone, and there are boxes, here's my lay. Let's add more color to this video. Let, let's make this less sad, let's make this video more colorful with my lay. Let us begin. So for finals week, I took a final on Monday for chem, I took a final on Tuesday for econ, and on today, Wednesday, I took a final for uh, math. So they all went okay. You know, I feel like with finals, we can never really be 100% prepared. T a teacher is always going to throw that curve question that nobody gets right, except for that one annoying kid who sets the curve and still gets 100. Oh, oh this is it. I got the lay because it was itching my neck. Oh, my shirt. Okay. <laughs> all good. So yeah, finals week has really, really messed up my sleeping schedule. I, I, I've been sleeping at 4, 5 a.m. every single day, you know, trying to uh, study for my final. Even though sometimes, no matter how hard you study, you still get a bad grade, which is the saddest thing in the entire world. Hopefully I did well in my finals. Pray for me that your vision is fine. Oh, I'm so scared. You may be wondering why I am taking chem final and an econ final it is because I'm kind of like confused about what major I want to pursue so I'm doing both at the same time so I'm gonna get behind either one but I feel like I'm leaning more towards mm, econ and accounting we will see what happens in my major because I'm probably gonna be vlogging until I graduate my freshman year in recap it has been a very 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 great freshman year here at my college I may I have no regrets in the college that I chose to attend. I love the environment here. I love I just love everything about my school. Academics out of the way, other things that you know made up my freshman year were uh, the people that I met here and some of the friends that I've met here. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, oh excuse me. So yeah. Some of the people that I've met here are honestly the most wonderful human beings in this entire world and I cannot stress that enough. I'm so blessed to have met these people. Some of the girls that I will be living with next year that are like my best friends here right now will be attending my wedding. Oh yeah, the Trisha McCarsos and insert blank blank here wedding, they will be attending that wedding because it would not be complete without them. Like these girls are like my, my soul sisters, my sisters other misters. I love them so 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 much. I cannot thank them enough for giving me the gift of their friendship. Not just girls, like my other my guy friends too that are like my really good guy friends here. They won't although they won't be bridesmaids, you know, they'll be invited to the wedding too. I keep talking about all this wedding stuff when, you know, I think I need to like groom first before I can have a wedding. But we'll worry about that in the future. So for now, I have my bridesmaids. Check, check, check. Just gotta wait for the groom a little bit. <laughs> Aside from academics and meeting the bestest friends that I could in my entire life, uh, another aspect that made up my college experience as a freshman was a living situation. This was the first time that I've ever been away from home for such a long period of time. And at first I got really, really homesick and I missed my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters a lot. And you know, FaceTime really helped with that. But I'm also really glad that I didn't go out of state because I didn't realize that I'd miss them this much until you know I came to college. So I'm very thankful for FaceTime and I'm very thankful that I am just like 
not a flight away from coming home. I'm just like a really long drive away, but still, it's still pretty close, so I'm happy with that. It's pretty ironic how I got closer to my family with greater distance. I've learned how to appreciate my family a lot more and appreciate my mom's food, dining commons food, or like restaurant food will never compare to my mama's homemade Filipino food. Homemade Filipino food is so bomb. Like if you ever come to my house, I got you fam. Like it is, ooh, my mama's sinigang, my mama's adobo. It is the best in the entire world. So I'm very excited to like finally have it back when I go home tomorrow. And yeah, be surrounded by all my family and stuff all over again. Oh, how could I forget another big part of my freshman year was my love life. Girl, let me tell you, my love life could be a K-drama because there's so many things that happened in my love life that like you would not even believe that this happened to me. I will not go into detail about it, but I, my love life is pretty much a roller coaster. Got that sine, cosine function going on. You know what mama and dad would say, like, don't be distracted by boys. Well, sometimes you just can't help it. Like, they're just there. For me personally, I'm not going to, like, stop it from happening. If it happens, if it happens. Like, if I'm really feeling this guy, then I'm going to see where it goes kind of thing. So, I just did that for a little bit. Fall quarter, went with the flow. Uh, there was this really great guy that I went out with. Fall quarter. And because of some things, it didn't work out. He's still a great guy, you know, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but you know who you are. We had some, we made some great memories, but things are really complicated, so it was better for us to, you know, go our separate ways. Uh, come winter quarter, I was single and mingling winter quarter, it was fun. One mistake that I kind of made winter quarter was actively searching for, like, a boyfriend, which you should not do. Something like that should just happen naturally. It's just supposed to like be like, oh wow, this guy's really great. Not like going out to parties and be like, ooh, potential, 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 potential. Don't don't go do that. It should be just natural. Let it happen, you know? If it happens, it will happen, girl. And if it does not work, then it just it doesn't. I mean, you never really know what the future holds kind of thing. Like who knows? Like that one random guy from your math section might be the one. This quarter, spring quarter, I met another really, really great guy. I talked about this in my other video, but the the college prom thing that I went to was All Hop Ball, that was the name of it. If you haven't watched my video, go check it out. I met a guy, like I did not expect to meet him at All Hop Ball. And I didn't expect us to really like click that well that fast. Just really like click. Like I didn't feel the need to to try hard to like impress him. I didn't feel the need to like to change anything about myself and the you know the conversation that we were having for him to like me. I feel like that's how it should be. When you meet a person and like that, it's it's not supposed to be hard. You guys are supposed to flow together. You know, I did not expect to have feelings or to gain feelings for that guy. It was a shock because I mean, I was, I was just going through spring quarter. I wasn't really looking. Again, I don't know if who watches these videos, if he's gonna watch this or not. But uh, he really did make my spring quarter pretty bomb. <laughs> Made some really good memories as well, and I do not regret any of it. But alas, because of some circumstances. We also went our separate ways. I've come to realize, you know, it's just a part of life. You know, things happen with life and you can't really plan it. Maybe just the wrong timing, just, you know, maybe it's just the wrong person, but you can't let that, you know, tear you down. You got, you have to, you know, get back up, keep moving. Maybe I should make another video about like, Coming to college has been a really, really worthwhile experience. Being able to come to an institution where there are amazing students and faculty is such a huge blessing. Every single person that I meet is basically a book. 
because each of them has a single story that is unique from any other and they all have something to share and whenever I meet someone new and I talk to them about them, their background, all the things that make them as a person, it's so like breathtaking. It's just, yeah, humans are amazing. <laughs> I've also had the opportunity to meet professors that were very, very passionate about their teachings and actually wanted to be in class. I actually had one professor for my math class that got run over by a truck in the morning. Okay, she got run over by a truck. She ran to class and she still made it on time, 10.59, okay, when class started at 11. She made it with one minute to spare and she had a cut right here, an open cut. And she told us, she was heavily breathing, she was like, oh, like, class, I'm so sorry if I'm a little bit slow today, but I just got run over by a truck. The whole class was like, what the heck? Like, lady, are you crazy? Like, you still came to class? Like, you got run over by a truck while you were riding your bike. What? But seeing a teacher like that have so much passion and dedication to her students and her class was just so... Oh, moving! It was very, very moving. The reason why she said she had to come to class was because she wanted to help us prepare for the midterm that we had the next day. I wrote her a letter after that and I was like, I really, really admire your dedication to us and our education and stuff like that. Any other teacher, honestly, would have just went home and taken a day off. Some teachers get sick for like a day with like a cold and they're like, oh, I'm gonna call it. But this teacher got run over by a truck and she still came to class. That's amazing. A little crazy, but you know, it's pretty amazing. On top of all that, I've learned how to become dependent on my independence. If there's one thing that college has taught me, it's to learn how to be fine with sitting by myself in the cafeteria at lunch and eating alone. It's totally fine. Like, there is no shame. Like, people have different schedules. You can't always schedule like a lunch date with a friend. Like, you really learn in college to just you know, mature and be fine with just, you know, being independent and being by yourself. And that's something that I feel like I've just really like been able to work on here in college. Things that I want to work on for when I come back to college in a few months for my fall quarter, I want to really, really work on my time management skills. It was really bad fall quarter. But it's gotten better. I feel like it could still be further improved. There's still a lot of time that I waste doing things that, you know, like that includes just looking on my phone all the time or just sitting around and Netflixing and chill. There's a lot more improvement that I think I can do. I look forward to doing all that. I also look forward to joining clubs, more clubs. So I'm going to be living on campus next year, which means I don't have to take like a, a bus to main campus and which means that I don't have to bike. Honestly, I got really, really lazy with my bike. Uh, I also want to be able to maintain a regular workout schedule that fits with my study schedule because I'm going to be really, really busy next quarter taking a bunch of econ classes and writing. I'm going to have to be able to really know how to time manage and able to manage the clubs, working out, like cell fitness, and then like, of course, academics. And then also like friends. Lots of things. Time management is a very, very useful skill and I hope that I get better with it next year. I would like to take this time now to thank everybody that's contributed to my freshman year. My freshman year was great because of all the wonderful people that contributed to it. Anyone who's ever made me laugh, anyone who's ever made me smile, anyone who's ever given me like a brownie when I needed it during like finals week or midterms week, thank you. I have this thing where I get really, really sentimental and stuff because oh my gosh I, I oh my gosh I was so crying oh my god like a wave of sadness just overcame me I think it's as I'm making this video it's it's hitting me oh my god <laughs> oh, it's hitting me that you know it's the end of my freshman year and it was such a great experience. I wouldn't have wanted to experience it anywhere else with any other group of people. And I'm just 
very thankful for all for the endless amount of family support that I receive you know away to all the friends that have ever been there for me for all the things that I've gone through whether it be like crises or like academic crises just you know thank you everything I, I really really appreciate it but yeah I'm I might actually go cry in my bed after this because I'm feeling really sad. It's hitting me right now as I make this video. Why? Why? Um, but yeah, we will not be far apart. I We will just be on text, a call, FaceTime, maybe even drive away from each other this summer and I will be vlogging even more. So, if you want to see what I'm doing this summer, just keep watching my YouTube videos, hit subscribe, and it's it's lit. I have a lot of things I'll be doing this summer. Hopefully I'll be making a video every single week is my goal. And yeah, this is gonna be my last video uploading as a freshman. I've only made six or six videos as a freshman. Wow, I really need to step up my game with my videos. I was lacking a lot just because I didn't really have to find time for it. Again, time management. So, yeah, I guess this is it. Um, closing this out as my last time being a freshman. And, yeah, thank you to everyone who's helped make this experience really lit. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, bitch, Trish. <laughs>